from the commentary position. Right there, Martin. Yeah, I'm expecting big things here. There's a great atmosphere. It's Wickham Wanderers playing today against Exeter City. The line up for the home side. Well, we've gone with a 4 3 3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4 5 1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Lovely ball. Moving forward. Real opening now. Off the post. He's way off target. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. Well, that's good defending. He could lay it off to the supporting player. In a great position to pull it back. It's a good ball, they could be in. He's going to try his luck. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. That whipped in ball at the near post. Taylor. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. A low ball into the box. And it's going to be a goal kick. Well, there was that attempt, Alan. Let's look back on it now. Yeah, close in. The side foot he went for. But uh, getting these angles just off and hitting the post in the end. Taylor. Next to the City. They're on a bit of a roll. Particularly from their last game. An away win against Carlisle United. Yeah, and uh, plenty to admire in that 1-0. Mind you, I don't think they're going to get another victory. I think it'll be a draw. A good run towards the near post. Flag went up straight away, referee blue offside. Taylor, got to keep the ball here under some pressure. Burn. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Saunders. Well, the pressure paying off, it's an aimless clearance. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. Into the attacking third. To Burn. Watang. Opportunity here. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. There's some potential in this move. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. To Burr. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Well, they're in a good position here. Not a cross that's caused the defence any problems, and certainly not the goalkeeper. Up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Two minutes of added time. And they've cut it out. We we're halfway through. And we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half.
And it is the kickoff here for the second half. Possession given away once more. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. And that is now a goal kick. And it's Wilson. Poitek. Oh, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Real chance. Turned aside there by the keeper. Throw in now. Well, it's going to be a substitution now. And there is some backup for him in this position. That will help ease the pressure. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space. And now the shot! Well, that was a moment where they thought they scored, but the assistant has ruled it out. Well, the uh, defence pushed up as one, and I think they've caught him offside there. Guate. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Boateng. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Promising build-up until that challenge. Goal news involving Notts County. It's the second goal for Notts County. 64 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks, Alan. saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. He intercepted. On the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. On the move and able to cut out the pass. To put them in front. Oh, that's great. And the wait is over. It's a fine goal. They've worked away at the opposition. And now they've got their reward. Nicely taken. And patience has paid off finally. I think it was a game that deserved a goal. Now we've got it. Here's Wilson. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for the home team. 74 minutes played. 2-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Could be dangerous. Well, it's easy here for the keeper. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Wonderful chance! Great stop. And a corner given by the referee. Well, the team that are in front are going to try and keep in front with a change here. Uh, Goes for it with a fist. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. What an opportunity if he picks out the right man. That's a good block. And here's the shot. And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. It's been a thrilling contest, this. And we're into the last knockings of it. And the supporters, well, they're not showing any sign of losing their stamina. They've been great. Yeah, always love coming to this. Here's Brown. Matic. Another two minutes added on by the referee. Looking to make an opportunity either for himself or a team. 
And there is... English Football League 2. Accrington Stanley, 1. Coventry City, 1. Chesterfield, 1. Morecambe, 1. Colchester United, 1. Carlisle United, 1. Mansfield Town, 2. Swindon Town, 1. Notts County, 2. Barnet, 1. Port Vale, 2. Cheltenham Town, 1. Wickham Wanderers, 1. Exeter City, 0. Yeovil Town, 0. Crew Alexandra, 1. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table. At the top of the table remain Notts County with 31 points. In second, Colchester United with 24 points. In third, climbing the table are Wickham Wanderers with 23 points. In fourth and falling are Swindon Town with 22 points. In fifth, moving down are Exeter City with 21 points. In sixth, rising up the table are Crew Alexandra with 21 points. In eighth, climbing the table are Port Vale with 20 points. Third bottom, Stevenage with 8 points. Fourth bottom and falling are Newport County with 11 points. Fifth bottom, rising up the table are Crawley Town with 12 points. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We should have a fine game for you today. This is our match today. Exeter City against Luton Town. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Real opening now. Oh, that's great defending. Strong challenge. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Could get his cross in now.
Now, this is an interesting attack. Done well to hang on to the ball. Now he needs a pass. Here's Taylor. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. And the crossing position is a... Well, the referee has blown for the free kick. I don't think he's going to produce the yellow card. Makes a challenge here. Could be awkward if he loses the ball here, and he might do. There's some pressure on him. He might be through. He's through here. How about that for a goal? He's given them the breakthrough. And they've had to work very hard to find a way through this defence. But when it came... It was superbly taken. They're absolutely thrilled with the way they've got the lead here. Leading at the moment then, Luton Town. Good play, one-on-one. -on -one. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. He went in well. Here's a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team, 24 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. McCormack. Here's a chance to attack. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. McCormack. Here's the goal from Crew. It's a goal for Crew Alexandra. It's been scored by Chris Dagnall. A corner was played short, and he took the ball to the corner of the area before calling a great shot into the far corner. 31 minutes played, 1 0. Cheers, Alan. This is an excellent run. Think about this player, he, he's dribbling the ball in the right areas of the pitch. That's what coaches want to see. Coming up, slipping it through. Needs to stay cool now. Burn. Good challenge. Goal news from Swindon. It's a goal for the visitors. 39 minutes played. 1-0. Well, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. Can he pick somebody out with this pullback? Not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. Well, that's what substitutes the four to be used. And we've got one coming on now. A return ball. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Saw the goal and went for it. The fourth official has indicated two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board. He's got his shot off now. Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true. And it's Wilson. Well, that's half time at 1-0.
It's Luton Town ready to kick off in the second half. He's coming forward with some danger. And the assistant signals for the throw. Gets his cross in. Chooses to punch here, the goalkeeper. Good technique. And that will be a throw as the header goes out of play. of this match maybe this substitution will hold the key senior we can go to Alamakanali now for news of a goal from elsewhere it's a second goal for the home team 56 minutes please 2-0 oh, interesting news again from Alamakanali thanks Alan Sheehan just booted forward under so much pressure. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Here's Edwards. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Goal news now from Swindon. It's a second goal for the visitors. 63 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. There's some potential in this move. Here's Edwards. Sheehan. It's looking good, this move. Taylor. Cleared it well. Break quickly when they get possession. This is a message for Tyler Berry. Here's Tyler Edwards. Berry. Can you please make Tackle here. To the Thank you. Senior. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a third goal for the home team. 75 minutes played. 3 0. Cheers, Alan. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. He can lay it off to the supporting player. And that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means. Little piece of interplay between the two. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Lee. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. Gets his foot in there. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Very impressive, the support for this team. Funny the team could be quite so impressive themselves. Yeah, they're doing their bit, the supporters, they really are. So, just wonder whether it can transfer onto those players down on the pitch. Look very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Oliver Lee. The referee has decided to add on two minutes. Well, they could have been opened up there, but the interception stopped that. Well, I've seen some uh, good performances from this chap this season, but I think it's the best so far, Alan. And he's coming off, I think, simply because, you know, the situation that allows that to happen. Uh, well played. Yeah, one of those players that just covers a, quite a small... Champions Cup. Chelsea, nil. Atletico Madrid, one. Barcelona, three. 
Borussia Dortmund 1. Bayern Munich 1, Manchester United 0. Liverpool 1, Nice 2. Spartak Moscow 2, Celtic 3. English Football League 2, Barnett 2, Mansfield Town 1. Carlisle United 1, Wickham Wanderers 2. Crawley Town 2, Chesterfield 1. Crew Alexandra 2, Notts County 1. First half about to begin. This is the home might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. But it's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Just cleared downfield, not a proper pass because the pressure is so intense. Good defending. Well, we know the qualities of this home team today, Alan, don't we? They're so strong defensively, best defensive record in the league. And I think what makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession. It starts at the front with the strikers. Christian Montano. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. Now Wilson. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Interesting to see what footwear the teams are going to actually use today now that this uh, rain is coming down. Might have to change what they originally started with. Yeah, and I think sometimes with the lads wearing blades these days, you do see them slipping a bit more. And uh, it might mean they have to change halfway through this match. To Burr. Going forward well. And shoots! the post and that's the way to defend make sure the opposition can't get on the ball in that part of the pitch crisp defending there that's cut out now here's a chance to get at the opposition Goal news from Crew. It's a goal for Crew Alexandra. It's been scored by Chris Dagnall. He's picked the ball up a full 30 yards out, taken a touch, and then hit an unstoppable shot into the top corner. Stunning goal. 25 minutes played, 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Excellent vision. Opportunity here. In really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match.
home team have some work to do um, because they've lost their last two games they've got home advantage they need to win today yeah they do put pressure on them in front of their own fans but uh, I fancy them to do it here actually on the attack here promising build up until that challenge Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. To Burr. Just the keeper to beat. To score! Hit the post. It's a good goal for them. And they have been playing well. No one can really complain about them taking the lead here. They have been much the better side. And it's a fine piece of finishing. Well, that has been coming, and they've played well enough, making so many chances they've taken this one. Well, it's uh, a dream day for those forwards, because no shortage of chances created. Top day for them. Well, we love to see players who want to get at the opposition, and this uh, attacking midfield player's done that today. And now he's going to just get the reward for it. He's going to sit out the last few minutes and get a great applause from the crowd. Yeah, and why not? He's one of those players with the knack for finding space in the box, arriving late, very much in the Frank Lampard mould. Good, strong tackle. Backing his own skill as the opposition try to nick the ball from him. Great tackle. De Freitas. Well, the referee has signaled for half time and it's 1 0 here. So the weather is terrible and it's remained so during half time. There's no respite for the players as they've come out getting another drenching at the start of this second half. Goal news from Crawley. It's a second goal for the visitors. 48 minutes played. 2 1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Saw the goal and went for it. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. He saw the gap down in the bottom corner. Boy, did he find it well. Well, that is the sign of a clinical finisher. Somebody that knows where the goals are, they don't have to look up. Restarting at 2-0. Hugh. Goal news from Swindon. It's a second goal for Wickham Wanderers. 53 minutes played. 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Just a period of keeping the ball for the team that are winning the match. Here's Taylor. That's cut out. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. And it's Wilson. Can Andrew Vance, that's Andrew Vance, please meet your wife at the On the move and able to cut out the pass. Alan McAnally right on the button to tell us about a goal that's just happened elsewhere. It's a goal for Chesterfield. 60 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Into the attacking third.
Wilson. De Freitas. Was good progress with this attack. Pew. Here's Wilson. Here's a chance to whip it in. Excellent piece of defensive play under some pressure, I must say. Some potential in this move. And now Anderson. Well, the ball's gone out for a goal kick. Two substitutes coming on for his team. He saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Striding forward purposefully. And the cross goes towards the far post. The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. It'll be a throw. Now Brown. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Watang! Wonderful goal! Well, he's point-blank range. But you've got to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. There's another one for them. Well, it's certainly going to help the goal difference. It might be important. Goal. A very comfortable margin for victory. Can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Real opening now. Oh, it's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Oh, it's in there. Well, I didn't see it as being as one-sided as it's turned out, Martin, but uh, yet another goal and a good one too here in stoppage time. Pretty straightforward, this match. And the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they've just compounded their superiority with that one. Well, the game petering out a little bit now with both sides settling for what's on the scoreline. Vast difference between the two teams. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? It's come to an end now as the referee calls a halt. Well, at times you thought they got a bit greedy, but why not? I mean, if you're on top of an opponent like they were here today... English Football League 2, Barnet 2, Yeovil Town 1, Carlisle United 1, Notts County 2, Coventry City 2, Colchester United 1, Crew Alexandra 2, Accrington Stanley 1, Exeter City 4, Port Vale 0, Newport County 2, Mansfield Town 2, Swindon Town 0, Wickham Wanderers 2, now let's see what effect that's had on league standings. At the top of the table remain Notts County with 34 points. In second, climbing the table are Wickham Wanderers with 29 points. In third, moving down, are Colchester United with 27 points. In fourth, Crew Alexandra with 27 points. In fifth, rising up the table are Exeter City with 24 points. In eighth and falling are Swindon Town with 22 points. Third bottom, climbing the table, are Stevenage with 11 points. Fourth bottom, Newport County with 12 points. Fifth bottom, Crawley Town with 16 points.